Hello everyone, Fanta here, you're watching Fantavision, and today I'm discussing the new innovations in technology in this year of our Lord 2019. That is correct. We've got just the most amazing invention ever, the most amazing gadget, the must-have item this season for the best price in the world, the best design in the world. I mean, it's really just, it's genius, Apple. Apple is just the most genius company. They keep coming out with these phenomenal products every single time at just the right price point. I mean, they're so competitively priced. They're really looking to hit as many people as possible when it comes to their products. They want everyone to have a Mac computer in their life. They want everyone to be able to afford it. They make it just, it's so simply affordable. It really is. And, you know, not, no monitor is really complete without this. And they know that. So they priced it just right. Just for you, the consumer, they priced it at this price, $1,000. That's right. For $1,000, that's it, everybody. No, actually, sorry, it's $999 because for some reason, human beings forget that after tax, it's going to be well over $1,000. And that if you add a dollar, it obviously equals $1,000. But $999, I guess, just sounds better to people. To me, it looks almost worse because there's a lot of big numbers, 999, where we put a one and a bunch of zeros. Maybe it looks like less because there's only a one and zeros. Maybe it'll confuse people. They'll go, oh, but that's a, there's no nines. It's just such a round number. Oh, it's a great deal. But no, they went with the classic all nines, as many nines as you can see. I bet it's $999.99. I bet you. I bet you it's only a penny, not even a dollar. But they could, you know what? They could be breaking new ground. Apple's breaking new ground. They're making it a whole dollar off instead of the usual penny. You better thank Apple for their generosity. No, but seriously, um, I'm done with that shtick. What the hell is this? It's a $1,000 for a monitor stand that's it now i understand that the monitor is going to be expensive it's like insanely ultra super duper k whatever it is it's a very high fidelity monitor it's gonna be it's gonna be great you know i don't think it's worth what five thousand dollars i don't think it's a five thousand dollar monitor i really don't apple slapped their logo on it so obviously it's going to be five thousand dollars their computer's, what, $6,000? And then there's an article saying that if you completely upgraded it, it's upwards of like thirty-two dollars to $40,000 if you put real components in it. It's ridiculous. It's just insane how they price their products over at Apple. I mean, I get that their phones, honestly, are kind of what the market is now, which is sad that that's what the market is now for a phone. It's $1,000 and that's normal. But because all of these companies have to have that phone be a thousand dollars, or they're like, "Oh, well, it's a budget phone. It's obviously a piece of crap. I don't want. I don't want to buy that phone because it's under a thousand dollars." So they have to all bump it up to a thousand dollars. Thankfully, we're we're they're bucking that trend a bit. Samsung came out with the seven hundred and fifty dollar phone. Oh, <laughs> how revolutionary! Thankfully, at least, there's there's some... I mean, even Apple, I think, had a 750 option. They're starting to come, come down with the phones again. They ramped up. Maybe it'll be a bell curve. Maybe it'll start going down again. I don't know. I don't remember how much the new OnePlus is. The third-party markets that are not Samsung and Apple are going to kind of... They're going to have to try to do something to change the direction of pricing on technology. Because it's insane. Why is this $1,000? I've tried my best to figure out what in the world they've put in this thing to make i don't even know what they were thinking thousand dollars the audience reaction is just priceless here's the audience reaction just listen to the sound and the pro stand 9.99 and like the mac pro they'll all be available in this in the fall so that is a new mac pro and pro display xdr now back to tim that's the sound of confusion right there that is the sound of an entire audience 
not really knowing how to react because these people in the audience are obviously Apple fanboys because they're there. They're either big Apple fans or they're fanboys and they've been defending Apple throughout all of these years. All the naysayers, people saying that, oh, Apple's way overpriced, Apple's expensive. Like, why would I buy the a, a Mac? It's just a ridiculous waste of money. I mean, this computer was such a waste of money, honestly. It was it was a, a mistake. This if I could take that back, I would, but I mean, it already happened. So I can say as a person who has owned Apple products that this is ridiculous. I'm not a fanboy of anything. I, I just call out bullshit wherever it is. And this is just bullshit. Thousand dollars for a, and the thing is, is not only is it thousand dollars for a stand is that there are journalists out there that are saying that this was a misstep. Not that this is ridiculous, not that it is a insane waste of money for anybody to spend a thousand dollars on a freaking stay a pro stand. Really gonna call it pro? It's a professional stand. Was it been training all of its life to be a stand? That's why it's a thousand dollars. All that training involved, got to pay for that somehow. No, it's a fucking metal beam that goes like this, and you stick your monitor on it. My monitors came with a stand, and these journalists that were defending it said they should try, it was a misstep. It wasn't a mistake, it was a misstep that it was $1,000. They should have shown the monitor and the stand and make it look like people were saving $1,000 by already owning a monitor stand. That's what this article said. Dumbest thing on the planet. I think it was Bloomberg, something like that. It was, I, oh God, I closed it, son of a bitch. But the thing is, is that's not, I don't get what is up with all these journalists sucking corporate cock lately. It's the, the most annoying thing on the planet. Stop defending corporations' dumb decisions. They're not looking out for you. I don't get it. Thousand dollars. Anyway, I'm done with that. I don't know what else to say there is about a monitor stand. A MacBook Pro computer. I mean, everybody knew it was going to be insanely expensive. It's a Macintosh computer. They're not competitively priced anymore. Believe it or not, they used to be. They used to be a cheaper option. Isn't that insane? Yeah, not anymore. No more innovation. No more competition. They just make things that look shiny. They look they look great. They honestly, they make very aesthetically pleasing products and that's it. But it's not worth anywhere near what they charge for any of these products. You, you look at them side by side spec wise and you see that you're just getting scammed. Mac Mac Pro stand $1,000. Monitor stand came with the damn thing. Good job, idiots. Okay, moving on from that. The other insane innovation in technology. This has to do with gaming. Because this is a mostly game-focused channel. Xbox. You know, Xbox has been really losing this entire generation. They've not been doing great. But in an effort to beat the competition, they decided to make a body wash. Yeah. A body wash and a deodorant. Apparently, they think that people that play Xbox really don't know that they need to buy soap. So if it's not labeled with an Xbox, you know, brand on it, they don't know that they should be buying it. So they had to brand it with Xbox. So gamers knew that, oh, oh, I'm supposed to be using this? Soap and deodorant? I think there should be a Wizards of the Coast deodorant and body wash. I feel like that would be a phenomenal idea. Have a Konami one for Yu-Gi-Oh! Have one for just every card game, basically. I think Xbox really going on the right track here. No, but seriously, this is the most random thing on the planet. I really don't understand why this exists. I mean... Gaming-oriented personal care products is what this article calls them. I I don't I don't get it. This is the most. I just saw this and I laughed so hard. I know this is technically old news because it's two days old and the news cycle is just immediate. But I found this so funny. Why? Why does it exist? I love that it's green. It has to be green. I love that. Oh, that's just great. I, I hope they come out with limited edition ones, like their controllers. That's what's going to happen. 
that's what's going to happen. There's going to be all these different limited edition bottles of this, and they're just going to keep ignoring first party titles. Oh, that's just wonderful. I love it. I love it. I almost, I almost want to buy some when it comes out just to talk about it on the channel. Let me know in the comments if you care that much about gaming oriented personal care products that you want me to review them. Maybe I'll do that for you. Would you like me to review some shower gel and some deodorant? And I could tell you what it smells like. That'd be a, that'd be a phenomenal video. I think that would get me up into 100,000 subscriber range right there. That's that's top tier shit. I'd be in trending, I think. I just can't swear at all. Otherwise, I wouldn't be in trending. So there we go. Just absolutely innovative technology in 2019. These these big corporations really know what they're doing and you can tell buy these products they're putting out. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a fantastic day. Ah, oh, it's just so funny. I really wanted to make... I don't even know how many... It's probably going to get like five views, but I thought it was funny. I'm, I'm going to name it something stupid like game... or Technology innovate... The best technology innovations of 2019... I'm going to have a a picture of me going like this. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. It'll be great. By the way, I'm drinking Lining Kugel Summer Shandy. I know a lot of people have told me that they've bought this specifically because I've recommended it. And I must say, great choice for following my advice because it's phenomenal. And everybody who's tried it has loved it, except for my girlfriend. But besides her, she doesn't like beer anyway. Everyone's loved this, and some people have sent me messages saying how much they love it. They've taken videos and pictures of it and stuff, and some people gave me a great idea. They told me that I should ask them to sponsor me on the channel because I have actually gotten people to buy the beer. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, I don't have a whole ton of subscribers, but... I mean, what YouTuber is sponsored by a beer brand? I'm sure there are people sponsored by Budweiser and stuff, but Leinenkugel? I don't know, maybe that's an untapped market.